Hi guys, hello, welcome or welcome back to our channel. I'm Whitney and I'm Megan and together we're, we're Wagon. Wagon. So today we thought we would show you a little throwback and run through our fertility equality campaign. Oh which we launched in November exclusively with the Sunday Times. Yes, so here's the little journey that we went on and we are currently nearly at 5,000, by the way, 5,000, that's hardly 5,000, 5,000 5, <laughs> signatures. So if you haven't signed, please do change.org for slash fertility equality. And tell your friends, tell your family, tell everyone to sign it, please. Please. So today is the 23rd of September and we are soon going to be Skyping with our friend Alice Hutton. We know Alice back from when we were interviewed by her for BBC News and we've kept friends for years. She's worked for like The Guardian and The Telegraph. She's actually moved to America at the moment. But what's really exciting is that we have been sharing our experiences with going on the fertility journey as lesbians and we've discovered some discrimination. So we're having a little chat. We're going to chat about that to see what can be done about it because it's not right and we don't want to put up with it basically and we want to help others so let's see how the chat goes and fingers crossed we'll be running a campaign soon hi lovelies hello so we just came off our chat we'll just have a coffee quickly with alice and uh, i don't actually know how long we chat for but it was a while a good hour it was good that was amazing it chat. was one so good to just see her because we haven't seen her for a while um and she's an all-round just an amazing person so i love that and then two we could chat about these issues forever like we could like we as we were hanging up the call we still kept talking about exactly. all the issues and we're like okay we need to go because we, we could be, on, be like, there all day we need to like create like the view you know we have the tv show the view yeah talk about these sort of topics but they're like That'd be good yeah she's got a great voice as well but anyway yeah just say so, so we basically chatted all through the issues we've experienced while you know starting our fertility journey and the other issues that we're aware of that you guys have told us and where to start and what change we can make because even if it doesn't help us out like we're not doing it for us we're doing it for everyone else so. exactly i mean we're gonna have to go through it all and that's absolutely fine um we're learning as we go through it so we can as Megan said, we can like sort this out so no one else has to go through it again. Exactly. Because it's not fun. We just, you know, one, it's unfair, and two, it's in, unjust. unjust. Yes, yeah, so that's really but exciting. also, it is the principle at the end of the day that we are degraded to be like second class citizens because we're a lesbian couple. Mm -hmm. And then gay, gay mm -hmm. male couples will go through the same. Yeah, they struggle too. So, um, we are going to be <coughs> launching a change.org petition. Which is exciting. If um, you haven't signed it, go ahead and sign it. We'll yeah, because it will be out now. Um, <laughs> so we're really excited. Hopefully we can kick this There's off been... and make some change. So yeah, please please sign it. But anyway, just to say we've had to that quality. Chat. 2020. <laughs> this is where we were in 2020. That's me redoing the You Can Do It. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yay, so stay tuned for the next update. Hello, please. Just a little update on how our petition is going. I think we hoped it was going to go live two weeks ago at this point. It was meant to go live with the Sunday Times. It went, it happened basically, rewind, I don't think we went into any of it. So obviously we've been talking with our friend, the journalist Alice Hutton about our story and the petition and she works for the Sunday Times. She pitched it and whilst they seemed interested because of the election coming up, we thought it wasn't going to happen any time soon basically and then all of a sudden she messaged us to say the news editor decided they wanted to go ahead and put it in like the sunday that sunday news section and was it thursday that day maybe so yeah it was going to be in the news section which is wonderful it is going to be in the news section but we just didn't realize obviously it was going to happen so soon so we were like all systems go trying to record a video all about it trying to get people's input about it trying to get obviously the petition like fully set up um and then breaking news happened and it got pushed back so they had an, their own investigation the sunday times that happened so i got pushed back from that week so about the 24th of october we found out on the saturday that it wasn't happening the next day which is fine got pushed back to the next sunday which is the first of november which we felt was very unlikely to happen because of the election very soon around the corner um, but still all systems to go we're trying to get everything ready which gave us more time to do so which was kind of a blessing in disguise and then that got pushed back due to the lockdown part two that got announced in the uk so not happening it is due to go live this sunday the 8th the election is today the third and obviously we know the probably outcome isn't going to happen today so we don't know 
what's going to come our way that might push it back from this Sunday. So yeah, so basically we're waiting for you know for the article to go live in order for us to launch the campaign with it. Is what we're waiting on, and the delay has been giving us more time to get situated and sorted. We have rewritten this petition so many times. Nalo, we've got input from different people. So thank you all those of you who have really helped us out here we super super appreciate it and we're gonna be nervous if it actually does go live soon because it's a big deal that we're doing and we know we could get some hate our way as well as a, hopefully a lot of love so it's just um yeah a bit nerve-wracking like waiting every week but like is it gonna happen so we'll see uh what would you feel babe feel that's gonna happen this week i really don't know 50 50 i feel but it is lovely that the news editors of the Sunday Times are really interested in it and want to run it, so that's really sweet. And it's been we great working with Alice. Yes, we love Alice. Alice, love Alice. is wonderful. I'm really looking forward to fully reading the article, because we haven't actually seen the article, because we're not al allowed to see it either. So yeah. So we've got some videos for some other people involved for, that have given us their input, which is wonderful. And yeah, just been creating some graphics to go with it and editing the video, which... I've finished editing the video, I just need to finish graphics. Yeah. So, fingers crossed, we'll see how it goes. Update you next! <laughs> Hi lovelies, so we are super excited and super nervous to say that we have launched a big petition. Woo -woo. Oh my goodness, it's on change.org forward slash fertility equality. Look, we have two signed already. <laughs> <laughs> one may or not be me yeah um so yeah we've launched this petition because we feel sexual orientation should not be a barrier to having a family in the uk um lovely information here about what we are hoping to achieve and how you can help and yeah secondly we are featured in the sunday times as an exclusive about it which is crazy which is by alice hutton who we love she's amazing oh my goodness so yeah can't breathe it's Sunday, the Sunday times is out, and we're about to go into Waitrose and get it. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> it's Sunday. Oh god, don't be out. Wait, out? No. Oh, sorry, Tom's got it. Oh, got it right yeah. there. Hello! Hello please! Why do we have no head? Hello there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this week has been wild. Wild, I tell ya. So our petition and article in the Sunday Times came out on Sunday, which was very exciting. It really was. It was so surreal as well to see this vision and dream like put into print and put into action. Mm -hmm. We couldn't believe it. We were waiting till like midnight on Saturday night. And it was Sunday, posted at 12.01am. Like, is it going up? <laughs> Um, got a little heads in the mirror, that's hilarious. Um, so yeah, it went up Sunday. We went in to go and collect it physically, to have a copy of the Sunday Times and to post to Whitney's parents. <laughs> so that was exciting to see it in print. And just a big shout out to Alice, thank you so much for all your hard work. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it and you made it amazing. all possible. And then so far it's been a couple of days and it's been amazing. Your response has been great. We've nearly got, what, 1,500 signatures? Absolutely. We've had so many people reach out from all over, really, saying how amazing it is. Not just in the UK, but people around the world showing their support and they mm -hmm. can see the And sharing your experiences, which, you know, while it's very heartbreaking, it makes it even more worthwhile that we're validates. doing this. Validates what we're doing, exactly. The winner, Chris, is annoying me. <laughs> so, yeah, lots going on. And then today, what are we going to say, babes? So today we had an interview with ITV News London. And that's going to air today, and today is the 17th of November, Tuesday, Tuesday at 6pm. Mm -hmm. And then following that, we're going to be on Channel 4 News as well. Um, exciting. Talking all about the petition and why we started it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, let me know if you tuned in, because this will... Let, let you know. Just let Whitney know. Just let me know. <laughs> Call me. Call me. Um, so yeah, that's the day. And then later on today, we're chatting with a doctor. We'll tell you more about that. Mm -hmm. that something's going ahead there. What else? We've got some radio interviews lined up this week, and yeah, a few other little exciting things we're working on. Potential amazing projects that just help us spread this awareness even mm -hmm. more. So, 
Sorry, this is moving all over the place because Whitney when she talks. Oh, la, 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 la. So much. It's so funny. We filmed this morning. They're like, sit. please try and sit as still as possible. Like, move your hands off that. And I'm really like a robot. I know I don't move a lot. And Whitney is so. <laughs> you know, dumb and dumber in one of them's like. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, it's always pushing me forward. And I feel. Oh, so if you ever wondered why. I love you. That you exist. Um, Nalo has been at my mother's because she barks and they were, it came around to film us in person and we're like, it's not going to happen. Yeah, so. that time we had someone, she pretty much almost, I don't know, she wouldn't calm down, so scared, scared, the, scared the poor guy. Yeah, well, it's more the fact that she doesn't shut up, there'd be no way we could film. Yeah. Just thought we'd update you. Yeah, thank you all for your support so far. Thank you. Love y'all. Love y'all. Love, love you. Bye. Love you. They just mentioned us coming up. Woo -hoo -hoo! We are watching the news, my bed, and we are nervous, baby. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Shaken. I'm shook it. I'm shook it. Here we go. Oh my goodness. We are nervous, y'all. Ah! Tonight, where half women are going to be but first <laughs> oh there's my legs <laughs> here it goes guys oh lord YouTube stars Megan Martin Evans and her wife Whitney were shocked to find they had spent thousands of pounds on six rounds of artificial insemination before qualifying for IVF on the NHS Katie Barnfield YouTube stars Whitney and Megan decided it was time to start a family. They're now using their channel to campaign for equal access to fertility services for LGBT plus couples. Among mixed sex couples, almost 40% of IVF cycles are paid for on the NHS, compared to 14% for female couples. In London, that drops to just under 6%. Whitney and Megan hope they're now getting enough signatures have the issue debated in Parliament. Katie Barnfield, Woo! ITV News. Woo! Yay! Channel 4! Yeah. Just about calm down from ITV. Yeah. Woo! Got a little Nalo snoozing, waiting. After the break, they want to try for a baby without being forced to pay thousands of pounds. We need two of the LGBT couples who are being landed with a gay tax for fertility treatment and they want equal access for all. Yeah! Oh, woo -woo. oh my god! Oh, a little wedding video! Oh my goodness! Now they just want to become mothers, but say they're being discriminated against because of their sexuality. YouTube stars Megan and Whitney have launched a campaign demanding equal fertility treatment. Wife and wife Whitney and Megan, or Wegan as they're known to their 50,000 YouTube followers, want to have a baby. Using their platform, they've started this petition with other couples for equal fertility rights for LGBTQ plus people. So as things stand, and it does vary depending on where you live, if you're an LGBT or single woman in most parts of the UK, you'll get no financial support. Laura Rose wants IVF to be means-tested for all women, regardless of their sexuality, while NHS England say these are legal decisions for local health groups who should ensure equal access to fertility services. Only the couples we spoke to feel they are being discriminated against and that the current system just isn't fair. Minnie Stevenson, that's all we have time for this evening. Ah, that was wonderful! About to go on BBC Radio 5 Live. Are they my Barnett? <laughs> Emma Barnett. <laughs> when is American pronunciation? It's funny. We're waiting for them to Skype us in. We have makeup on because it's going to be a video Skype call for radio. Yeah. We'll get near that. 8505. We just finished. <laughs> that went well. Yeah, I think it went well. I really like Emma Barnett. Barnett. I think yeah. she asks really good questions. Mm -hmm. and yeah, she, she is great. She said We're going to go and listen to it now and see what everyone else is saying. But <laughs> because I was speaking and really trying to focus on what I was saying, I was like wandering around. So. Let's see how that turns out, y'all. Yeah, they said it'd be filmed. We're not sure if it will be up, so which is why we put a makeup on just in case. So we'll be intrigued if you get to see. What was that? So as you just saw, we've had some amazing press on our campaign, which is great because it's pushing it out there and getting mm -hmm. the signatures. Besides um, Channel 4 and ITV London, what else are the campaign being featured in? A Refinery29. That was um, an awesome article. We'll link it below. 
yeah, I can't even think. We'll link it all so you can check it out. But we're just so grateful for the media and the press picking up our campaign. It's really helping getting the signatures. So thank you all. Please do continue to sign and share. We'll be up with an update soon, hopefully. Bye. We'll get 10,000 signatures when we take it to government. Yes. <laughs>